you guys have any questions, raise your hand. We'll get the mic to you. We'll start with Steve here on the left hand side. So Devontae Thomas, uh, last several games, has, has really played well for you. Talk about what he's given you on the field and, and how he's come on this year. He's always given solid play and uh, uh, lately big hits. Um, kind of momentum changing plays. Uh, but he's, he's uh, a very good player. Always, always has been uh, consistently good. On the left here, Rob. Uh, Jim Rob Aller, Columbus Dispatch. You're going to a place where they really don't know what to make of you down there. Some people say you're crazy like a fox. Some people say you're just crazy. Um, but they all say you're progressive. How would you describe who you are to Ohioans? Not crazy. <laughs> I would describe myself as that. beyond that? No, I mean, I, I don't know what my personality really, how revel, relevant that will be in the ball game this week. Probably irrelevant. Right next to him, Dan. Uh, Dan Wetzel, Yahoo Sports. So, Jim, is there anything unique about competing against Urban Meyer, whether it's on the field or, or in recruiting or anything else you guys uh, kind of come up against? Um, unique in that it's at the highest level. How so? Uh, in terms of competition on the field or uh, recruiting, uh, Urban's at the highest level, and the competition is at the highest level. Over on your right in the front row, Mark. Uh, you updates on what space condition and do you expect him to play? Um, no, I don't have an update. Uh, Today have not uh, evaluated today. And do you expect John? Is John still the starter if we can't play? Just everything we said, Mark. I mean, it's, it hasn't changed. It's uh, it's a day to day process and evaluation. Come over here to the left in the front, John. You got a couple more big special teams plays on Saturday. Can you talk about how that? phase has improved over the course of the year and where it's at now in your mind? Well, hopefully, uh, I mean, we're, um, you know, we've got a hot hand in that regard. I would you know, use Kenny Allen as an example, making both field goals. Uh, his punts were, were pinpoint uh, kickoffs. I think he was on a streak of so many touchbacks in a row. Uh, but it's, uh, and then making plays punt block game and uh, coverage has been, been good and um, you know, hopefully we can uh, get, get a return or two to uh, add to the cause. Directly in front, Lord Hill. Jim, I know you always talk about every week, championship week, but with your history, you certainly do embrace <coughs> everything that comes with this rivalry, don't you? Even if you don't necessarily want to put it on a pedestal, you certainly understand it and embrace it, do you? I do. Enjoy it? I, I do. Embrace it and enjoy it. Look forward to it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right in front here. Larry. You talk about the uh, opportunity and the challenge that you guys have uh, at Ohio State and, you know, in part to bring this rivalry back. Michigan needs to win because you haven't won much in the, you know, the recent years. So. Yeah, I, I certainly can talk about that. Um, it's a great opportunity. And a tremendous challenge. Well, you ask a yes/no question. You get a yes/no answer. I mean, you you ask an obvious question is talk about the the opportunity that we have this week. It's a great opportunity. Um, what well, task will be? It's a large task. It's a it's a <laughs> tremendous challenge. What is, what poses the greatest challenge when you look at Ohio State offensively and defensively? What jumps out at you right away? They're great. They're a great great football team. Uh, great, um, great coaching uh, and tremendous talent. Coach, um, talk about your defense and uh, leaders like uh, Chris Wormley and how important uh, you know that's going to be on Saturday. Well, I mean, any, any big game, any championship game, um, also any road game, you got to pack your defense. Uh, our guys will be, be up for the challenge. Look forward to a great week of preparation.
terms of practice and getting ready to play this game. Chris is a leader. Chris is, no question about it. Captain, uh, tremendous guy, <coughs> outstanding sportsman, and a uh, talented player. Uh, showers us with uh, virtues. He's got, uh, he's got a lot of highest character at the highest level. Over to your right, Nick. Hey, Jim. Uh, when, you, when you guys watch Curtis Samuel uh, on tape, you guys have played some playmakers this year. Was Curtis the biggest threat to challenge everyone that you've seen? Well, uh, he's, he's been been outstanding. Um, and it's a, it's a team with a lot of playmakers. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're just uh, just into that now and, and um, uh, evaluating the, the – uh, what we can do, you know, what we can do to have success of defending uh, Ohio State and also moving the football ourselves. Uh, so that's the beginning of that process uh, right now. But it's obvious, you know, it's obvious. Uh, jumps jumps right out at you that uh, it's a great team. Uh, no question. Uh, numerous playmakers. Superb town. Push back over to your left here, Rob. A Jim Jabril Peppers does a lot of great things. If you had to pinpoint the one thing that he does that's exceptional in your mind that you see, maybe other people don't even see it, what is it? Explosive. He's explosive. Uh, as an athlete, just you see it, you feel it, you, um, you understand it, whether he's making a tackle, whether he's, uh, whether he's got the football in his hand, whether he's closing ground. Whether he's covering, uh, I mean, when he runs by you, you feel, you feel the wind, you feel the air moving, uh, you, know, you feel the force into the ground. And, uh, it's, it's it's dart like, it's it's explosive. Coach, in the back right. Coach, you did say this was a rivalry that you look forward to every year. What is it about the Ohio State game that makes you look forward to this game, this matchup every season? Uh, the competition. That's the best part of it. Front left. Jim, has, has Wilton progressed positively in the past week? And how has he kind of dealt with staying up to speed while he's in? Yeah, uh, it's been, he's been better every day. And certainly as being born in Toledo with a border town type of thing, how does this rivalry uh, resonate? In That's from my eye. He's, been, he's, he's gotten better every day. Now, again, clarify, I'm not a doctor. No medical degree. Didn't even take any medical classes in college. But to my eye, he, he's looked better every day. Yeah. Being from Toledo, from border town between Ohio and Michigan, uh, how does this rivalry resonate in that town? We lived there for about a year of, of my life, but I've always just taken great pride in being from, from Toledo, from uh, being from Perrysburg. It's where you were born. Hey, where were you born? I was born in Toledo, I lived in Perrysburg. Lived in Eaton, lived in Xenia, lived in Bowling Green, lived in Moorhead, Kentucky, lived in Iowa City, lived in Ann Arbor, lived in Palo Alto. Um, that was just the growing up years high school, but uh, you take, take pride in, of uh, where you're from, you want to hear stories of what it was like, um, you know, my dad was a high school football coach at Perrysburg High School, and, um, and he's coached at all those, all those spots that I just mentioned, and, uh, it was always for his team, and, uh, take pride being from there, have commonality with people that are from there because of that, that's uh, Something that's always, always um, you know, giving us, giving us joy. Oh, you're, you're from there. I was, you know, we lived there. Um, so, got a lot of, a lot of uh, things to talk about. You and Urban talk. People about from a lot of, we've talked about it. Yeah, we've talked about it. both being born in the same hospital, et cetera. What a small world, <laughs> as they say. Coach, directly in the middle, Bill. Okay, Coach. Um, lots been written about when you played there at Ohio State. So have you been back to that stadium since? And what kind of environment are you expecting to prepare for on game day? No, haven't been back since. 
and the game day environment. I mean, is this something you also embrace? Probably be really good. Uh, I, would, I would anticipate. You know, the big game and a championship game, uh, usually great, healthy, fair, honest, uh, loud, boisterous environment would I, I would expect. Come back down over to your left here. Coach, how pivotal is somebody like Jake Butt um, in a game like this, considering just how difficult yards are to come back? He's been through the battles before. And mm -hmm. Like you, he understands both sides of the rivalry. So he would. <coughs> really critical. Um, I think that showed up a lot this past week in, in, our, in our win over Indiana. I thought our seniors really took, took control of the game, at least from our side, on our perspective. Um, it was... This game, uh, you know, those those same seniors, those those uh, players, those starters, those good players, our best players, uh, you know, uh, have, have a have a great challenge ahead of them, and I know they're up for it, and uh, they play a huge role. I'll leave it to you, right, Nick. Jim, you said before the season that uh, this team could accomplish anything it wanted, put the work in, or the yeah. exact words, but something like that. If if. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're here 11 games in. Did you learn anything more about these guys? Or are they, do you feel that they're more ready than you did to, to, to compete and win for a championship? I mean, what, what's your feeling overall on this team where they're at right now? I feel like we're ready to go to battle. Uh, in, a, in a football fight uh, way. More, more than you were. Ready to lead them. Yeah. And you're ready to lead them, so you said? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> In front of you, Angelique. Jim, Ryan, Ryan Glasgow said after the game the other day that of JT Barrett, that, that he's like preparing for him is like preparing for nobody else during a season. Yeah. What does JT bring? What, what makes him so difficult to, de to defend and prepare for? Slippery um, and tough runner like a running back. Um, but he's got the vision of a quarterback. He's got the throwing ability of a quarterback. I mean, there's times that he will put the ball into the tightest of, of windows. Uh, so, um, yeah, all the all the you know, the heady plays he makes, the uh, really athletic plays he makes, the, the fine throwing plays he makes, uh, plays with a lot of confidence, and uh, he's a, an outstanding player. But it's a it's a unique combination for a quarterback to have all those things. Go to the back. Justin Duncan, WTVG in Toledo. Uh, 30 years ago, 1986, you made the guarantee. What do you remember from that week, that game? That, not much, just that that did happen. And, and the outcome of the ball game is what I remember. Long time ago. Come to the front left here, Jamie. Hi, Jamie with Channel 4. Um, there are articles out there saying this is like a renewal of the 10 year war between you and Meyer. Do you feel momentum building into something like that? You have to remember that time back then. Just really thinking about our process of uh, preparation this week. Get ready for the actual game. We have time to... So it doesn't feel bigger than it was before? Uh, you're, 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 I mean, that's, where, that's what we're thinking about. That's, that's what I'm thinking about. Let's, I'll say it that way. Writers may be thinking about something different, but it's, you're asking me to comment on it. That's, I'm thinking about the ball game. I'm thinking about uh, the preparation and today's practice. Got time for one or two more front here. Wojo. You obviously go way back in this rivalry as a player and observing from a distance and your old coach Bo relishing it. Do you have any favorite thoughts or memories of either watching games or playing in games of this particular rivalry? Yeah, I've had quite a, quite a bit of experience. Um, some playing, some watching. Um, is there a question to that? A favorite one? Uh, no. I can't say that there's a favorite. In the back there, Dave. Dave with ESPN. Coach, uh, in terms of big games in your career, how does this rank up to that uh, Super Bowl? And as far as you always talk about competition, competitiveness, any similarities between that game going in and this game? 
been asked that a lot. Uh, been asked that, that, that form of that question probably a lot or co to compare. Uh, sometimes it's wins. What's your favorite win, biggest win, toughest loss, that kind of thing. I mean, to me, they're up. their games are it's the competition. It's the best part. Uh, fair, healthy, honest competition. Uh, you ask me what the best part, that's the best part. Uh, so every game, I, I don't even look at it. I don't look at it as a pie chart. Like, that was my favorite. This was less favorite. They're like, almost like your kids. You know? I love them all, 100%, each game, uh, each opportunity, each, uh, each chance to uh, for your team to show what they got. And um, that's the way I look at them. It's like I, I got seven, seven kids, I'm them all the, each one 100%. I'll break them up into high charts. All right, thanks coach. Thank you.